Welcome back to the Akashic Record series. Today we're going to talk about what are the Akashic Records. It's a big question. I think there's different ways to explain the Akashic Records, but I'm going to go into the more grounded and easy to understand. We can look at the Akashic Records as kind of like a database. Uh, well, a database in the ethereal plane, in that sense, it's in the fifth dimension. So we can't see it or touch it or feel it. We can connect with it through an opening verse, an opening prayer. And through this database, we're able to ask questions in the database and get information about our soul, our soul contracts, past lives we've had, struggles we're having, karmic lessons, things that we need to experience in this life and things we're really needing the clarity on. So the questions are everything and we'll do other videos about that, but it's all about the questions we ask that's us using our free will to receive the information that we need. The Akashic Records is also referred to as the Book of Life. It's the book that contains all of the information from our soul, from everything our souls lived in past lives, this incarnation that we're in, and anything in the future. It really just immense, depending on how many lives we've had and what we've experienced. It can, can hold a lot of information about soul contracts, our lessons. And we access it through, like I said, an opening verse and the questions that we ask and we're able to receive. We'll go into the channeling process a little bit later in some other videos, but really, if we can imagine this infinite library in the ethereal plane in the fifth dimension with just rows and rows of books, and each soul has a book. The author of that book is the soul. So each of us has a book that we can access or someone can ask, access it for us by opening our record. And we're able to obtain information, understand ourselves deeper, understand our soul contracts, understand contracts with other souls. And it brings so much clarity. It helps us understand ourselves. It helps us understand our path, why we're struggling, why things are repeating. It's an amazing tool. And I use it for so many years just to open my own records. And I felt it was so, so useful. So... You could look at it as this book or a database, whatever you want to look at it as. I don't want to complicate it too much, but it's this idea of a library that contains a lot of books. We access that library, that book, through an opening verse, and we're able to extract information. So essentially, when we ask a question and we're downloading it or receiving that information, it's coming from the book. The book contains it all, and we are able to ask and access that information, especially for opening our own. But if we're opening somebody else's, they can give us permission and we can get that information for them. So I hope that kind of explains it a little bit. I don't want to go too deep into it, but know that others in the ethereal plane, so we can't see it, we can't touch it. Although some people, when they do connect, they can receive visions. Like for example, sometimes I will see a book. I'll see the book open. It can help you a little bit kind of just know that you're in that library. So it kind of just gives you that indication that you've, the, like the records are open. It's beautiful. It's just this beautiful energy. Like I said, it's in the fifth dimension. So it helps us feel more connected. It helps us feel just more serene. You know, when I open my records, I always feel more calm. I feel more centered. I feel more grounded. I feel more connected to myself. And the same thing happens when you open somebody else's records. Generally, they'll feel a sense of peace, a sense of connection that they might not feel in their day to day. So now that the Akashic Records really is just this place, this energy, that if we have a good intention, we're able to connect with it. And we have to sometimes practice, especially at the beginning. And if anybody's watched any of my previous videos of my journey with the Akashic Records, it wasn't easy. It was very hard for me to connect and to receive information because I was doubting myself. So we have to work through the ego. We need to work through some of our own personal things in order to connect. And that'll for sure help us in this process with the Akashic Records. So stay tuned for the next video and you'll be able to kind of get more information about the Akashic Records. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and obviously make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you make sure you turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more videos coming up in the future. And comment below if there's any doubts, if I didn't answer your questions, if you want more information, if you want me to go deeper, I can do it outside of the series. But like I said, this series to me is supposed to be very very like little bite-sized information so we can just kind of go through a lot of videos and understand it as a whole. Have a great day guys. Thanks for tuning in.